Howdy everyone, WarsRC here, and today we'll be looking at Paper Triss on Nintendo Switch. Paper Triss is a Tetris styled game where instead of rotating shapes to clear a row, you switch the colors of the falling blocks around and try to land them to make combinations of three or more of the same color to clear the pieces. More blocks are introduced as you get further, not only of different colors, but special blocks like ones that will destroy other blocks regardless of color, mystery blocks, blocks blocks that have an explosive countdown, blocks that change the color of other blocks, and even blocks that cover part of the screen temporarily when broken. So it's a lot more complex than basic Tetris, yet at the same time still just as easy to get into and enjoy. For single player, you've got two modes. The challenge mode where you'll be going through levels with their own individual challenges, such as clearing a certain amount of blocks, clearing a certain amount of each color of blocks, and and completing in under a certain amount of time. Then there's the classic endless mode where every 20 cubes destroyed levels up and increases the speed and every 100 adds a new color. Despite all the extra aspects, I personally feel that this mode is a lot easier than in the original Tetris as it has a bit of a slower start before it finally starts to pick up, but it's still fun regardless. So plenty to do with single player, but of course we've also got the multiplayer. I didn't have someone to play this with, but the premise of this is actually interesting as it takes from games like Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine where when you clear pieces it sends some over to the other player's side. There's three options with multiplayer, versus mode, endless versus mode, and time versus mode, with the first letting you start off anywhere from level 1 all the way up to 100. Funny thing, just out of curiosity, I actually tried level 100 versus against an empty player too that just sat there and somehow I still ended up losing. Just thought it was funny enough to mention. So this is certainly one of the more fresh takes on Tetris that I've tried and even though across all of it it can have a bit of a slow start, it's still good fun and definitely worth a try if you're in the mood for something like Tetris but just a little bit different. So if you want this game yourself, it's available on the eShop for $4. I'd like to thank Flynn's Arcade for sending me the review key. This is Horse RC on the Game Clips channel and I'm out.